Yes, I think uh, this tournament is um, uh, OFC considered as a very important uh, tournament for, for us, especially in, in preparing the young players, elite players, towards the 2026 uh, OFC vision. Like we want to qualify two teams if we can in 2026 World Cup. And this is our main vision and objectives. And all these tournaments that we try to put in together is, is a, a sort of pathway contributing to building up towards that uh, qualifications. So this is why for OFC, having UEFA assist, uh, you know, uh, the president and the uh, UEFA having accepted our request and uh, to be part of this uh, program is really significant to us and uh, also is, is very important for Oceania football. At, at this moment, we find difficulty to, to match up with the, all the international teams outside of Oceania. So this is what we want to try to lift up our performance through this, uh, this sort of program. I think we have to accept that uh, when you play with uh, countries outside of Oceania, you have to accept that uh, you have you have a deficiency of your capacity in matching that. So you, you you can't expect that you know all the developments that you've been you know you have been putting together and you try to put is very limited due to the environment, the capacity of the of the staff you have, the capacity of the local churches, the knowledge you have, the skills, the experience, the exposure you have with the competitions between. Uh, uh, international uh, footballs and uh, like Ocean uh, Island Nations uh, football is very limited. You you cannot like you, you just cannot like keep consistency on your performance. Uh, this is this is the the fact that you have to accept. You cannot always blame the coach. You cannot always blame uh, the staff. You cannot blame the players. It is an environment that we live on, and we have to we have to accept it but embrace it and work on it. And we have to understand that we have a limitation, but we have to bridge that limitation with the gap that we have between us and the, the foreign countries that are outside of Oceania. So with that situation, you cannot expect that you can beat teams like you know, Aust uh, uh, in Europe or South America easily. You can only expect that you can do your best to, to match up with, but consistency won't be there. This is exactly what we, we are trying to do. When uh, UEFA started to initiate the project and they said, we are going to help those, only those who, uh, who are qualified to go to the World Cup. If we only give chance to these two countries, it's not good for Ocean. This is what I, I, change, I changed the, the, the concept. I said, why not we keep a balance of uh, exposure with uh, as many as many teams as possible. I said, especially those who are very strong. Why not? You know, we also send this either send this team outside. If not, we invite some teams outside and they play in our country so that all at the same time it boosts the interest the, of the young people and gives them exposure also the chance to to meet the teams like like we have seen uh, this week. India and Estonia, you see how they were very excited when they were at home. They have more crowd and they, and they have backup and they, they build confidence. And you see how they, they bridge the cup between the you know the high level, like professional players and as not professional, but they're just elite and local players. But they, they they can they can do it. So we have the potential. This is what is for me is is really huge for for the young people, because if you continue with that, they will have exposure every year, and that's what they need to prepare for the world. If they manage to get to the like World Cup qualification, so they already have confidence at home, because they already have been with some, some level of this competition in their own countries. The, the, the 2026 vision, 2026 includes both men and women. So it's, it's an uh, every year program, but it is alternatively uh, um, run by, by the two categories. It means that um, there will be, this year would be for um, 
boys and next year will be for girls and uh, it will be the same for our youth football and uh, next year I don't know you know it will be someone one country will have to host it but uh, we started uh, in Vanuatu because I was just elected so I thought it was a good initiative to start uh, in Vanuatu so that I can launch it.